love plans. I love plans. What is up, Plan Fam? It's your girl Lauren here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, guys, I am doing another video and I'll probably make it a series where I talk about my favorite plants for that month. I did my first video around June, July, and that seemed to go really well and I decided to do the same thing for August. As you can see, I have tons of plants right here because there's just been so many plants that have been giving me so much happiness. So if you guys are ready to see all the plants that I'm loving for this month, then like this video and let's get going. Let's see what I want to start off with. There are so many goodies. Okay. So I will start off with this plant right here. It may not seem like much to you guys, but there's a backstory to this. And it is my Ficus Tanicki Ruby. Let me just give you a quick little pan of the leaves so far. I know it's super tiny. It's still in a four inch pot, but let me tell you the background deeds on this plant. Now, I got this plant a long time ago. It was literally my second or third video. I unboxed this from Peace, Love, and Happiness Club. Literally, it's such a throwback because even though I'm still a new YouTuber, that video was, you know, a long time ago. And I unboxed this rubber tree and I was so excited to get it. But since then, from that moment to about a week and a half ago, guys, it did not grow. I moved this plant so many times in my grow light shelf to my LED grow light, um, like flexible lamps. I'm staring at them right now. I've moved them closer in different spots and it would not grow. It did nothing for literally two and a half months and I was almost about to give up on it. It had a red growth point and that means that it was ready to pop out but nothing was happening then I was talking to one of my really good plant friends and he said that he keeps his rubber trees outside in his balcony and the shaded part you know of his balcony and that I should try that guys the moment I finally decided to put this plant outside it's been popping literally two leaves in the past week and a half. So this is the leaf right here. This leaf right here was the one that I was waiting for that whole time and it popped out within like a couple of days of being outside in my balcony. And this one right here, it's like popped out already. You can see that this is the leaf and that popped out like so quick. And that is the secret. So if you are having a rubber tree that is not growing, put it outside unless you have some really, really good natural lighting in your home. But now that I've been seeing it grow, I love the pink and purple hues of this plant and it's so gorgeous. I really want a huge rubber tree and I feel like I can finally get there. The next plant, number two, is my mini watermelon peperomia. So guys, I'm expanding, you know, this is not just my aeroids. <laughs> There's a lot of other geniuses of plants that have been giving me a lot of joy. And this is my mini watermelon peperomia. I got this plant from the great outdoors when I did a nursery tour in Austin. I've been wanting a regular watermelon peperomia for a while, but every time I saw one, because I did see some when I was out shopping, they didn't look the greatest condition or just something about it was just telling me that this is not the one. And then I went to the great outdoors and I saw this beautiful, cute plant. So 
here it is hopefully no soil drops out and you can tell it's pretty substantial i don't know if it's picking up on camera but the new growth looks like a little taco shell and then it expands to like a little watermelon and then it grows to this kind of teardrop shape I think this is so adorable it's very rigid like these are actually really substantial I love the silver sheen of the stripes and of course the pinky watermelon petioles and stems this is such a low maintenance plant, guys. You water it when it's dry. It's not finicky at all with humidity or water. I just give it tap water and it grows beautifully. It's grown a lot since I've gotten it and I just love it. I think it's so adorable. And my second plant is a mini watermelon peperomia. Let me shift some things around because we'll talk about the philodendrons now. You guys know me and my philodendrons, so I will discuss these next plants. And I actually have three philodendrons that I want to talk about. I will start off, oh, there's so many options. I will just start off with this bad boy right here. And it is my philodendron hostatum silver sword. Now, some of you guys may or may not be confused because a long time ago, and I will put the video right here, I had a mini cutting, a two inch unrooted cutting that I got from Etsy on a silver sword. The Etsy seller had good reviews. I guess it was just me. I have no idea, but that thing would not grow. I tried rooting it in water, in spag, nothing happened and it was slowly dying off on me. It was a shame because I really loved that plant and I couldn't let it go. I had to get another plant. So that baby plant went to plant heaven, RIP. But this is my new version that I got from Peace, Love and Happiness Club, again, because I love them. Now, here is this plant. Um, this is the newest leaf. It's still trying to mature and get that silver sheen, but as you can see, this is a gorgeous view of this leaf. You can really see the metallic silvery sheen. It's like a bluey silver metallic hue, and it is gorgeous. Honestly, guys, this is one of my top favorite plants in my entire collection. I just think this plant is so gorgeous. I'm probably going to use the word gorgeous, stunning, and beautiful multiple times in this video, just so you guys know. But this plant brings me so much happiness. I always stare at it and look at it every single day. This makes me really want to get a Scandapsis Trebui Moonlight. I think I said that right. Trebui? Trebui? I don't know. I'll put a picture right here. But you can see that plant and my Hestatum Silver Sword have the same beautiful sheen. I feel like I would love that Scandapsis as much as I love my Silver Sword. But that's basically it guys I just I really love this plant no matter how much I love variegation I think this will always be a winner in my book moving right along I can't sing what am I doing okay moving right along to the next philodendron I'm already looking at it honestly guys I think like honestly this is my favorite plant in my collection. If I had to rank my plants, this would be number one. And it is my Philodendron White Wizard. I cannot tell you guys how much I love this plant. I love it more than my Pink Princess. I love it more than my Thai Constellation, my Choco Red. Just, I love it so, so much. Now, there's a few reasons why I love this plant. Yes. The variegation is beautiful. This is the newest leaf that popped up in my care and this is the most gorgeous leaf. I can't even tell you. The white is so white. I don't know 
between the white knight or the white wizard which one is technically the whitest because both of them give really good sheens of white they're not cream at all it's it's white it's pretty white but how gorgeous is that this completely unfurled a couple of weeks ago and it is getting a new growth point right here and i can't wait to see what it looks like besides the variegation i love how substantial and hardy this plant is compared to the pink princess the sheathing and the petioles are so thick guys they're i would say this is a good like nickel in america it's basically the size of a nickel i would say that's how round and thick the diameter is this plant leaves me speechless all the time all the time you can tell this plant's my favorite because it just leaves me with no words and you guys know i love talking and the fact that i have no more words come on now if you're thinking of getting a white wizard, just go for it. Make the investment because you're not going to regret it. Last up for the philodendrons for my August favorites is my philodendron white princess. Now, I when I first got this plant, I thought it was a gorgeous plant. Don't get me wrong, but... I was like, what's the hype about this plant? But it slowly just grew on me. I love it so much and I think it's beautiful. Now let's quickly compare it to the white wizard. I'll give you a side by side here. You can tell the white princess has more of a teardrop elongated leaf shape while the wizard is more round i would say there's variegation on both but what i've noticed is that the princess has more of a speckled variegation you can see that in all of these leaves pretty much like this one right here it has speckled white but has kind of this lighter green i don't want to say mint but lighter green variegation same over here speckled this is the white, but you can see here and here is that lighter green. Even this little baby leaf right here, it's the exact same. I think an additional aspect to this plant that makes it gorgeous are the hints of pink. Here, let me remove this NSC Tropicals tag. Are the hints of pink in the sheathing. Right there you can see are hints of pink. Um, I'll just kind of like rotate the plant around there you can see the hints of pink I'm literally reaching as far as I can to the camera guys I'm focusing so hard but you can get some glimpse of that pink and I think it's absolutely beautiful as well oh there's another leaf and growth point coming out I didn't know that so that's cool I would love to have the trifecta of white philodendrons i have the white wizard the white princess it would be really awesome to have a white knight now the wizard and the knight are very similar sometimes i can't really tell the difference so if i never end up getting the white knight it's okay but i really love these white philodendrons but that's it for the philodendron genius guys and we have one more which are calatheas so without further ado let's get down to the last two plants okay guys we are down to the final two i know you can tell what they are already but I really love calatheas, guys. I've mentioned it on and off in my channel. Calatheas are one of the first species of plants that I added to my collection, and I still really love it. I have these two right here, and I also have a Musaica and an Ornata, and there's still a couple other Calatheas I want on my wish list. But this first one that's been giving me so much joy for this month is my Calathea Macoyana. Now, let's hope soil doesn't fall out, but let me just show you that. Like, look how beautiful and full and lush that top view is, guys. Now, I got this plant 
Oh my god, what's it called? I had to pause for a second because this is literally, guys, my fifth plant ever. This is like, this is one of the OGs in my collection and I got it from Modern Garden. Let me give you some throwback pics right here. I know it's not super zoomed in, but you know, it was cute, it was tiny, and it wasn't really doing that much. It was growing, it was growing one leaf every like two and a half weeks, but the last time I fertilized it, this plant has just blossomed. I swear in the past month it's giving me like five leaves and there are like two or three other leaves on the way. It's just been growing so so well. Since it's been growing I cannot stop looking at it. It was looking kind of sparse before but now it's really filled out the pot beautifully. Macayanas like any other Calatheas have a beautiful gorgeous purple underside. Let me see if I can show you those two new leaves. Probably not, but they're in there, guys. They're in there, but I think it's so, so beautiful. Now, guys, it is time. It is time for my favorite plant of August. I got it about two weeks ago, and oh, it's beautiful beautiful i cannot get over it and it is my calathea orbifolia and i actually have two i have a mama version let me move this wizard so i have my mama version and i have my little bebe i, I have my baby version right here now i got this big guy as a present from my family in an unboxing where I really loved the seller. I don't know if you're gonna see that video before or after I post this. I think after, honestly, so I'll leave a little bit of ambiguity and suspense, but uh, it's been one of my dreams, guys, even though I love all my aeroids to death, to have literally a huge tree of a Calathea orbifolia. I will post a picture right here of my dream plant and the size of it literally it's it's humongous but i got this about two weeks ago and it just takes up the whole screen there is this new leaf that unfurled in my care right here like you can't even see me but like that light green leaf on the bottom corner is the newest leaf and this one is coming on the way This is another plant that makes me speechless. The stripes in person are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love it, it's huge. It's here. Like it's, it made its presence known in my collection right away. <laughs> but that's that and I got this mini version from one of my really good plant friends named Justin. I also have mentioned him before in a video and he kindly gifted me this baby one. He got it from Tall Plants. He's known this has been a wishlist plant for me and now I have this cute little baby. So it's still as gorgeous. There are, let's see, two growth points and one actual new leaf coming out and I adore these two. I want to name them and I kind of have names in mind but I feel weird naming them because I plan on combining them soon or not soon I plan on combining them into one plant in a few months and then it's just weird right guys like I don't really name my plants unless I really love them sorry to my other plants but if I name them and then put them in one plant you know it's just weird but anyway I absolutely love my Orbeez my Orbifolias and they are my favorite plant for August that is it for today's video plant fam I really hope you enjoyed this second video in my series of all the plants that I am loving in August there were so many favorites in this month there's probably another two or three that I were considering but 
I decided to stick with these few plants. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for sticking with me until the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite plant is for the month of August, and I will see you in my next video.